Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, very outspoken writer and comedian. We have Jason Lefkowitz on the show. And he has actually kind of gone viral for being extremely vocal about mask mandates, vaccine requirements, etc. All right. Um, Jason, thank you for being on the show. How are you? Oh, I, I'm wonderful. And I just want to say congratulations. I understand that you're working on your second doctorate. That takes a lot of time oh. and effort on your part. So congratulations. Brother, I appreciate you know. you saying that you you are a little late. Maybe you saw an old bio. Oh. I finished my second doctorate two years ago, and I'm currently a second year law student. But I thank you for even acknowledging some of that. And thank you for reading up on the brother a little bit. But I think you just read an old bio, but thanks for the oh, sentiment. Well, Okay, well, I just wanted to say, you know, I was a bio major at Rutgers University. I scored oh, nice. a 96, I scored a 96.4 on the DAT, which was organic chem, chem and bio. I've studied immunology, virology, microbiology, genetics, cancer. So I am, a, I'm not just a comedian or a writer. I am a bio major. I've always had my eyes and ears and mouth uh, in all things science. So okay, I'm, and I'm where did so you graduate? Happy to be here. Where did you graduate? Uh, 2000, Rutgers College. I was actually and class president as well. Remarkable. So, so you know the science of things, right? I know as much science as I possibly can. Yes. Okay. Let's get into it, man. I don't want to presume what you know or believe about mask requirements or the vaccination, COVID nineteen, etc. So, give us your sentiment, man. What What are your thoughts about what's happening right now, especially around mask mandates at school boards and as some of the vaccine, potential vaccine requirements? Well, first, let me just say that I am for medical freedom. Mm -hmm. I believe if somebody wants to take a vaccine, they should have every right to take that vaccine. I also believe that if somebody doesn't want to take the vaccine, they should not be coerced or forced into taking a vaccine. I feel the same way about masks. Masks are a, a medical instrument. I do not believe that children who should be forced into masks whatsoever. There is literally a 0% death rate for kids. And they've been known, even the CDC admits that transmission through children is highly negligible if recorded at all. So yeah, to put masks on kids, I believe is child abuse. And to put masks on our faces around children, you know, if you're not sick is also a form of child abuse. Children need to see faces, they need to see smiles, they need to see emotion. That's how we socially interact. Okay, let me ask you this question. Um, you believe vaccines or vaccine mandates are a violation of some sort of civil liberty? Is that the premise of the argument? I believe that wholeheartedly that forcing anybody into a medical experiment and into this medical gene therapy that's never yeah. been done before. And all the, all the previous trials of mRNA vaccines ended in animal death. We are the animals in this live experiment. Nothing has been, nothing has been approved, everything is still an emergency authorization. This sort no, of technology is- well, the, the thing with Pfizer, they approved another name that's a different name of the vaccine. But when, you make, the when, when you make proclamations like that, Jason, that nothing has been approved, everything is still under emergency use, you are aware that that statement is a lie, correct? It is not a, it's not a lie. The if FDA does, into, sir, the no, FDA the has FDA approved. approved. The, the FDA did not approve the biotech name of the vaccine that has been given out. They approve okay, something sir. else that has a different name. And that thing, we do not even have vials to distribute yet. So sir, that's the truth. You say, no, no, sir, you are incorrect. I, I assume you subscribe to QAnon, am I right? Am not I right on all. that assumption? Not at all, but You're I do. anti QAnon, but I do, right? I'm, I didn't say I'm anti, I didn't say I'm pro, I'm not on it, I don't know enough. All I know from Q is that they ask people to go do research about things. I'll tell no, you that that's I'm, not anti, all they do. I'm anti sex trafficking, are you? Yeah, of course we are, brother. Okay, well then, that's what, that's all I know of it. I'm not a QAnon support. I'm not a QAnon person. All right, I'm so a let's go back to the vaccine mandate. That does a mandate. lot of research and read. Sure. Gotcha, let's go back to the vaccine mandate. Are you yeah. also against the vaccinations that you were mandated to receive? One hundred percent. Okay, um, so why are you not talking about the vaccines that are already mandated 
in the United States of America. For example, all 50 states, they have a vaccine mandate of between six to eight vaccinations, depending on the state. Georgia and Florida has a few less yeah. than California and New York. Every single public school system in the United States of America has a mandate of vaccinations, even though yeah. there is no federal mandate for them. Also, if you go to certain countries or come in from certain countries to America, there's a vaccination mandate that you must adhere to as well. And also private companies naturally, they have the ability to enforce certain mandates for vaccinations, especially if you work with a particular population. This has been well known and established for decades in the healthcare arena. And if you serve in the US military, depending on your deployment, you can get 16 to up to over 20 vaccination requirements because of what you do for the United States military. My point to you is this. Yeah, and they, and they poison always, our soldiers. Uh, Jason, I allowed you to finish, brother, and all due respect. My point to you is this, we have always had various vaccination mandates in the, in the United States of America. So if you're arguing that this is a civil liberty issue rather than a COVID-19 vaccine issue, then you would intellectually have an issue problem and protest against the vaccination requirements that are currently established today, correct? Correct, and I do talk about those. You'll see that in my speeches. Since 1990, with the new vaccine schedule, we have the sickest children in America. When I was a child, and probably when you were a child, you got maybe six six vaccines total. Children nowadays, since 1990, take 69 vaccines. Autism rates are through the roof. That's how I talk about it. That's how I talk about all these things. We have the sickest well, I want to children remind everyone, in the country, in the world. I want to Over remind 54% everyone. of our kids have learning disabilities. So all of these things are everyone. caused by vaccines. It's all germ theory nonsense. When you say that the number 69, um, for the vast majority of states, uh, the requirement is seven. Other states, the requirement is six. When you say 69, those are voluntary. Those 69. are people that say. Those are people that say we want to get an additional vaccination, a flu shot, whatever it may be. Yeah, no you parents are, say that. But you no are an independent. That. Doctors and nurses are coercing Brother, our parents, you are, are coercing our children. The medical industry Jason, is a massive coercion. Western medicine is pharmaceutically mm -hmm. driven. Doctors now are just drug dealers pushing drugs that they don't know anything about. Yeah, there are on, zero on classes argument, about vaccinations on, in on medical some of that school. Sentiment, Jason. Zero classes about vaccinations in medical hey, Jason. schools. So, yes, sir. All right, here's, here's the thing, brother. See, if I was a guest in your house, I would respect the rules of your home, cuz I'm a gentleman. I'm going oh. to request that you be a gentleman in my home or I would kick you the hell out. How am I not being a gentleman? When you and I engage in discourse, mm -hmm. when I put something out to you, you respond. Mm -hmm. I put something out, you respond, you put something out, I respond. Remember as the host, I have to play part moderator. And part debater with you on these topics. That, mm. That's just the flow of the program, okay? Yeah. All right, I appreciate that. So let me go to mask. You have an issue mm -hmm. with mask mandates. Do you have an issue with any other mandates for school children inside of K through 12 education? And, sure, and but let's talk about it. Sorry. Um, I do, but let's start with the mask. So your best mask that we know of is the N95, correct? Would you agree? According to the CDC, yes. Okay, so the smallest hole in an N95 mask is 0.3 microns, which is very small. The average size of a coronavirus is 0.125 microns, which is less than half the size of the hole. What the PCR test is testing for is 64 base pairs of a polypeptide chain, which is way smaller than even a coronavirus. A coronavirus okay. has up to 10,000 plus base pairs. That would be like finding a fingernail on the ground and saying you discovered an entire new species of human being. So to think that a cloth mask or a bandana or any of these other masks supplying any sort of protection is absolutely asinine. Even Dr. Fauci said masks don't work. So I don't understand which yeah, side that's people are trying to believe. Here. Once again, I, I, untrue. That's again. untrue. He that's said untrue it. Again. I've seen so the video. Let's be very clear. He Jason, said masks don't I'm work. I'm going to respond. I don't have unlimited time, brother. Um, so Go Fauci and the CDC, as a matter of fact, where you get your science from, the same scientist that talk about mm -hmm. the formation of this virus are the same scientists that also have proclaimed based on actual studies that if you wear the mask properly, it can decrease the spread of COVID-19 by up to 90%. Even if you wear, brother, that, you can go to the CDC 
to, to check so out my data. If you wear three masks, sir, if you, you wear three still, masks, they'll sir, give you ninety percent. You're still trying to be a comedian. Your career. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a comedian. Fauci so said one mask so is actually one, debate, two is seventy percent. Okay. Jason. Fauci so said in the very Jason, beginning, masks don't work. Jason. He said ninety percent worn properly. It decreases the spread of COVID by 90%. Mm -hmm. That's according to the <laughs> CDC. It also, at, at, if you at, wear, mm -hmm. Jason, come on, man. I'm listening, I'm you're listening. adults, brother. Yeah, okay. I'm listening. I mean, you're just lying, but keep going. No, that's not a lie. So, come on, sure man, it's on the CDC is. website. They, I just, they, they I just cited out. my source to you. Okay, cool. I'll cite my sources too. Dr. Okay, Rochelle Walensky said the PCR test all right, I can't appreciate distinguish you between COVID brother. and the Can flu. I finish the rebuttal or not? Please, by all means. You want to call me a liar for citing verified data on my show? You Think called about me a liar for that. citing verified data. So Say that again? We're equally, you, you called me a liar for citing verified data. So, Sir, you know, when you say right Dr. You. Fauci says masks do not work. Who he has said been that right in the beginning. The, um, hardest supporters. Uh, the most extreme, I would say, in the media, supporter of wearing mask. That a is murderer. simply taking things out of context. So right. let me go on to the next <laughs> data set. Even if you wear the mask improperly, or if you mm -hmm. wear a cloth mask, it decreases the spread of COVID by 40 <laughs> to 60%. Now, here's mm -hmm. another data set. Individuals mm -hmm. who have the COVID-19 vaccination, they mm -hmm. have virtually a 100% chance of not dying from COVID. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. That's okay. hysterical. Go ahead, yeah, tell okay. me why. So, so okay. So you understand that the CDC declares anybody is unvaccinated until after two weeks after their second shot. So if you get the shot and you get sick and die from it, you're still considered unvaccinated. Imagine if you and I went out to go eat some seafood and you ate a thing of clams and I ate a thing of clams and we both got dysentery and got really sick from it. But because they didn't pass through our digestive system, we can't blame it on the clams. That's exactly what's going on so here. Let me they get also this right. I just want to ask just for clarity and I'll let you finish your point. You're saying, because I understand the nuance, you know, you you are fully vaccinated if you take the two shot um after two regimen. weeks. After you're two saying, weeks of the you're second saying shot. that first shot contributes to death. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying people have died after the first shot. But Absolutely. I'm I'm asking people are you died. saying that the shot itself kills people? Is that the insinuation you're the making? The shot here? itself has killed people, yes. One hundred percent. You can go uh, on the okay. VARES. You can go on VARES right mm -hmm. now, which I have behind me. We're almost at fourteen thousand deaths reported on VARES as of yesterday, and that's that's noted to be one to ten percent, and that's just in the United States right. of America. I'm running out of time. So how, let, me ask you let, let me ask you. Let me ask you one uh, question. Brother, I want to get you to the question. Civil War statement. Um, sure. You said that there will be civil war. I want you to provide context for the statement. Sure. I don't want to provide your context. What did you mean by that? That's fair and I do appreciate you saying that. What I meant by that was if mandates start rolling out and people that are wary of the vaccine that want to have their right to choose, that want to wait to see how these experiments play out and the data is taken because the Pfizer doesn't end I believe till next year and the Moderna the year after that or vice versa. So when you're trying to tell people now that they're not gonna be able to have access to food, to jobs, um, you know, right now, according to certain bills, they would still allow grocery stores and churches. But what's happening is, as the news and media declares that it's a a, a, a pandemic of the unvaccinated, they're they're making it so that the 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 churches and the grocery stores will be the only places where people could be spreading the virus, and then the circle just tightens and tightens and tightens. And we know this flu season, there's going to be a lot more people getting sick. And if you looked at the PCR test, like the CDC stated, they cannot distinguish between the flu and COVID. Which oddly, okay. we had 39 million cases of COVID in America. We had 38 million cases of the flu last year, and only 1,800 this year. So if you look into germ theory versus terrain theory, the only things that have been added to the terrain that have been making people sick are the spike protein All right, so and Jason, 5G. Jason, <laughs> so this is because of 5G technology. It is definitely part of why people get sick. Anytime there's a rollout of new technology in the air, you can read the book, The Invisible Rainbow. Radar, oh my uh, radar, X-ray, 1G, 2G, 3G. People get sick. It's look at okay. your Wi-Fi. I'm sure you've seen. I'm sure you've uh -huh. seen the experiment where people put seeds near their yeah. Wi-Fi converter and they don't grow. 
Yeah, that's wow. called radiation poisoning. Losing gotcha. your senses of taste and smell are clear indications of radiation poisoning. Oxygen attenuates at 60 go. megahertz. Oxygen, the oxygen okay, molecule Jason, attenuates listen, at 60 brother, megahertz, which gives you shortness there. of breath. You went there, on I record. just proved it to you. I just oh, proved it to great. you that 5G you, can make you You went sick. on record and said that there would be civil war. Uh, the explanation you just gave is that these folks are being mandated to do things basically. But mandates are everywhere. You're mandated by law to wear a seatbelt. You're mandated by law to have certain prerequisites before you can have particular jobs. You're mandated by law already to have certain vaccinations if you work in a particular field or industry. All of these approved are already here, okay? They're approved vaccinations. This is a modified gene therapy that they changed the definition of a vaccination so they would have zero liability. We so are what's not going to happen in the civil People are war. losing their jobs. People are losing their jobs. And when men can't well, provide they don't want to food for their families, that's on, that's you're pushing them, you're pushing them into a box that I don't want to Jason. see. But Jason, would, the civil war yes. aspect of it, you yes. think literally Americans, and this is something that you stand for, or at least you are an observer of, that Americans are willing to kill other Americans because of a mask mandate in particular areas in the United States of America. That is your proclamation today. Americans are already trying to kill other Americans by injecting them with a poison that's known to kill people. It's on the VAR site. Over 13,000 deaths already. So you're putting other Americans at risk saying, here, take a risk on this experimental vaccine in live right. time where you can be a lab rat and potentially die. So you're All already right. killing us. Jason, I'm out of time, brother. I just want to remind people that you are actually a comedian. <laughs> when okay. I can. Yeah. All right. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate you being on Indisputable. Thank you for your time. That's very kind of you.